Good afternoon. I'm pleased and honored to receive the 2011 Jerry B. Duvall Public Service Award. And I wish I could be with you to join in person to receive it, but my duties as chairman require me to be in the House today where my subcommittee is marking up the jump-starting opportunity and broadband spectrum act of 2011. It's kind of a mouthful, so we'd just like to call it the Jobs Act. We've been working on it all year, and while no party, special interest, or lobby gets everything uh, from this legislation, it does deliver job creation, it delivers public safety, and deficit reduction for the constituency that really counts most, the American people. We've also been busy this week on reforming and improving the FCC's processes. When it comes to implementing process reform, I have a little experience in that area. When Speaker Boehner asked me to chair the GOP transition in the House, I took a serious look at the institutional abuses committed, frankly, by both parties over the years. We did away with multi-thousand page bills, dropped in the dead of night, only to be voted on the next day. And we opened up the processes of the House for all to see. Transparency, consistency, and dedication to process should be the bedrock principles upon which a legislative body sits. After all, it is the people's house and the public's business, and they have a right to know what's going on. That's why this year, as chairman of the Communications and Technology Subcommittee, I've taken a hard look at the way the FCC's processes have slipped, broken, and ultimately failed to uphold the high standards that Americans demand from their government. Job-killing regulations, backroom deals, last-minute legal maneuvering, that's not the stuff of good government. Cost-benefit analyses, respecting the legal limits of authority, and timely reports, these are not radical ideas, they're good ideas. And yet these things are not the norm at the FCC, but they should be. And the work of the Energy and Commerce Committee seeks to make that so. Once again, thank you very much for this honor. Merry Christmas and best wishes for a safe and blessed holiday season.